Good morning. This is Joy Warrior coming to you this morning again, seeking the face of God for the body of Christ. Good morning again to you. Love you. Bless you. Know that Jesus is here to lead us into triumph concerning prayer this morning. Amen. We are lifting up the body of Christ worldwide and seeking his face. Amen. With the eight day journey and purpose in prayer in strengthening the body. Amen. We want the body of Christ to be established in the Lord. So we're going to rise up today. Amen. Get up sleepy heads. Jesus is Lord. He's here with us. Let's get to it. Again, we are going through an eight-day journey of prayer for the body of Christ. Amen. We've gone through our first Three topics, and we are talking about counteracting lawlessness, amen, in a lawless time, amen, in a lawless time where many do not hear and nor seek the face of God, but we are rising up on behalf of the body today to stand for each other because God is desiring that we seek his face. Amen. And in this lawless time, amen, we are calling on the name of the Lord. So our strategies or our focus is about strategies for victorious living in a lawless times. And our fourth topic this morning is is stated on or is established on living, loving. Amen. Live, loving. This is our fourth strategy. Amen. For living strategically victorious in this time and season. We're going to go to the word of God and then we're going to pray. Second Timothy 3, 1 through verse 6 says, But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, hallelujah, having a form of godliness but denying the power, amen, this is what we experience in today's time and season, amen, the Lord goes on to say in Matthew 5, 43, verse 48, the Lord says, you have heard me say, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. Good morning, hallelujah. We are talking about living, loving. This is the fourth strategy for living victorious in the end times. Amen. The Lord goes on to say that you you may be sons of God in heaven through what? Loving your neighbor, hating, hallelujah, that which is not of God, hallelujah, by loving, being loving, living loving. He says to love your neighbor, hallelujah. I say to you, love your enemies, and I say to you, hallelujah, bless those who hurt you or curse you and do good to those who hate you and pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you that you may be the sons of God in heaven for he makes his son to rise on the evil and the good and he sends rain on the just and the unjust in living loving the word says in 1 Corinthians 13 beginning with verse 4 it just goes on to describe love and love says that it suffers long love is kind Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Hallelujah. Love is not puffed up and love does not behave rudely. Love seeks not its own. Love is not provoked. Things 
thinks rather no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hallelujah, hopes all things, and endures all things. This is what love does, and we are to be loving people, people of love. God says in his word that those who do not love don't even know him. So we need to love because in these days it says, because lawlessness abounds, the love of many will grow cold. And we are to be established in the reality of love this morning. So we will begin our prayer time in, in this vein. Hallelujah. Love and praying forth the truth in and through the scriptures. And going on to say in Galatians, before we do that, 522 verse 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Amen. So we will stand in the word. We will stand in the truth. We will be people of truth. Amen. And we will honor truth in this time and season in Jesus name. So let us go ahead and lift up our voices to the Lord. Father in the precious name of Jesus we thank you this morning Father God for your word of truth that guides and leads us in the way that we are to go. Father we thank you that as we get established in your word Lord your word establishes us in you. Establishes us in the power of your might. Establishes us in your will. Leads us in your way. Lord God and grants us Lord God Lord, favor with you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. Lord, that we are people of love. We walk in righteousness. We walk in the reality, Lord God. Lord, of the establishment of love in our lives. Because you said in your word, even Lord God, faith does not work if we do not love. So, we are standing up, standing out, and standing established, Lord God. Hallelujah you by the power of your might in love father God we declare in Jesus name Lord God Lord that the lawless do not prevail against us because we walk in love Lord God we declare that the gainsayers do not overcome us because we walk in love father God we declare and decree the word is established in us in love father God therefore Lord God we are not hung up in the work of the flesh because we walk above the lies Lord God Lord of the world and we walk in the power of your might we rejoice in you because we are lovers Lord God of the truth and the truth establishes us in love we declare and decree every yoke is broken Father God Lord of lies and deception Lord God off of the body of Christ Lord God that we walk Lord God, Lord in the mind Lord God, Lord of the world, flowing with the world, we walk in the truth Lord God and we declare as we are new creatures created in Christ Jesus Father God, Lord God we love rather than hate Lord God Father God we bless Lord God rather than curse Father God Father we Lord God Lord pray rather than Lord God submit Lord God ourselves Lord to be Lord under humiliation Father God Lord and rejection Father Father I declare in Jesus name Lord God Father that we walk in long suffering Father because of love we walk Lord God with lack of envy we do not walk Lord God in high mindedness Father God I declare and decree that the body does not walk in rudeness but in love the body of Christ walks Lord God hallelujah Father Father God, in wisdom, because wisdom has been given to us by your word, by love. Jesus is love. Love hung on the cross, Lord God. And because love is hung on the cross, Lord, we have everything that's been given to us. Lord, in Christ Jesus, we declare the Holy Ghost sitting upon the body of Christ today. And we 
ask, Lord God, that your word excel, Lord God, to anoint, to, Lord, release the body into supernatural strength today, Father God, to live overcoming, to live in the spirit, Lord, that they not satisfy the deeds of the flesh. So we just thank you for the glory of the word being established, Lord, in the body. Lord, we pray that we be united, fortified, Lord God, full of joy, full, full of righteousness, full of peace, full of the love of God today, Lord God, for your love is unconditional, Father God, and your love, Lord God, establishes us that we may do mighty works in the earth, Lord, that we may be established, Lord God, in the glory, Father God, of your kingdom, and that it may be manifested in the earth with signs and wonders following, so we trust you, Lord God, to establish us in the fruit of love, Lord God, in your nature, Lord, of love today as the body of Christ, in every opposing work we declare brought down and utterly destroyed because it is you that is bringing us into your will. It is you that is establishing us in your glory. It is you that is bringing us, Lord God, into what you've ordered for us as a people. So we give you thanks today, Lord God. Hallelujah for giving us victory and Lord God, giving us strategies on how to overcome in these end times, Lord God, for the glory and the honor of your name. I bless you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Just keep on releasing those hearts for those who are out there because Jesus is Lord of all and he has established us in his goodness forever that we may be, Lord God. Hallelujah. That we may be, hallelujah, the people of God in every way, shape, and form. He is the Lord and he is God. Hallelujah. So we give you praise this morning, Lord God. Lord, for bringing us, Lord God, hallelujah, with a heart and a mind to pray into this new day. For it is a day that you have made and we do rejoice and we are glad in it. So as we commit ourselves to you, Father God, establish us in your will and we are careful to give you all the praise for it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We are continuing to pray over this specific topic, which is counteracting lawlessness through strategic strategies, hallelujah, that cause us to live victorious in the end times. That is what we're looking for, that the body of Christ be equipped to live victorious in this time and season. May your day be blessed. May your day be joyous and full of the hope of God and his glory. In Jesus name, I bless you and may his peace rest upon you. You have a great day in Christ.